All right, how's it going, Preston Outdoors fans? I'm your host here, Ethan Preston. My butt is getting soaked from this wet carpet. Anyway, <laughs> I want to talk to you guys about the difference between and how I fish the difference between, if that makes any sense, between a traditional frog and a popping frog. So first off, I want to go over my favorite, uh, I should say, rod, reel, line, whatever have you. I always say that. Whatever have you. I don't know. My favorite setup for frog. Yeah, this is the Cast King Perigee 2 um, rod. This is a 7.4 heavy. It's got a fast action tip on there. Um, a shorter butt, a shorter from reel down, you know, butt style, whatever. So I'm not slapping my ribs or my back of my arm when I'm twitching this thing on top. Uh, this is 65 pound super power braid, the Cast King super power braid. And as always, anytime I'm doing stuff where I'm fishing in the slop or got to fight them in, this is the Cast King Speed Demon. It's a 9.3 to 1 gear ratio reel. And so, yeah, that's my setup. And I want to get into when, where, how, and why I personally would throw um, a popping frog versus your uh, traditional walking frog. Normally I'm going to be throwing, this is my, the one I had last year, this thing is trash, freaking fish love these things. Um, if I, if you can see right here, it's pretty much um, calm water. If I'm fishing calm water, you know, not, not many ripples in the water, stuff like that, to where any commotion is going to be from this frog, or if I'm thinking a lot of uh, lily pads, Anything where it's thicker and there's less holes, open holes, or the water is dead calm like it is back here, I would like to throw the regular walking frog. It comes through the cover a lot easier, um, and it doesn't get caught up. With this lip and the popping frog, it has a tendency to get caught up on a lot of the slop, or it doesn't come through the lily pads when they're all matted on top of each other. It doesn't come through the lily pads as well. Um, so I would like to use the walking frog. Now, as you can see, as I keep talking here, the wind has come up and come from a different direction. So now we got a slight ripple back here. Imagine how that happens. The audio is probably going to be garbage. But now we got a slight ripple. So light switch. Really? Now it's windy. So now we got a slight ripple back here. So I would almost, if it was a little bit windier today like it is today, I'd switch to a popping frog because now I can still walk it back and forth. It doesn't walk as well as this one just because of the front of the face, you know, it's designed to walk. But you can still get this thing to walk. But in between my pauses and stuff, I can almost chug it like an old fashioned hula popper a little bit better and it'll throw the water. So if I pop it, it'll throw the water at you there and then let it settle. So I started using the popping frog. I bought, like I said, I bought a couple this year and started using them a little bit more I mean, the, the technique of working between these two doesn't um, seem to be the difference. Like, I don't work them any different. Besides, I institute a little bit bigger chug or pop, as you could say, to throw a little bit water when we got a little bit more, more ripple. So, I mean, not a huge technique, different video, but I'm just kind of telling you, if you're caught up between which style frog do I use, um, all that kind of thing. I mean, I have shoot, got these three four the pop and perch and then some white frog that somebody left in my boat so i've got these that i use um, in different situations for me at oh, all here's another tip this is a secret actually it's not really a secret it's just something i found out for me personally again all this stuff is for me personally it may not work for you but my favorite color is yellow Again, you can see all the yellow frogs I have besides this one that somebody left in my boat and then the black one that I bought. My favorite color is yellow. I can see yellow pretty well when I'm fishing lily pads and stuff like that. If you use a traditional like leopard frog, you know, like a leopard frog that they can see that you know looks like a normal one. If I'm back in the lily pads, I've come across it so many times over the years that when bass, you know, they may not be super excited about it. They're not going to jump out of the water, throw themselves all over crazy like they like they it's fun to watch them do. They'll come up and they'll just slurp it down. And if you're not paying attention, which I do most of the time, 
And all of a sudden I'll see my yellow frog disappear. I don't see a yellow frog and I'll set the hook and I'll catch the fish. Or if you see a boil, the fish misses it and you set the hook because you think he has it, now it's a lot harder for you to throw your bait back in there to them. So what I do is I, it's a brighter color, I, I can see it. If they boil on it and miss it, I can still see that yellow frog sitting there and I'll just twitch it on the spot and see if they'll come back and eat it instead of having to recast, drag it in, get it on the exact right spot. So normally, like I go, I have a black frog just to change it up. This is the only color I could find when I bought it when I was in Texas. But otherwise, I'm going to buy a yellow frog and, and try that try that out. Try a color that's kind of off the wall. Try a color that you can see well. And, you know, I believe as long as it's got somewhat, like this is a white bottom. I don't know why they needed the white bottom, but they do. Um, try a different color that you can see better. It'll actually increase your hookups. And if you get a blow up, I mean, you're, you're working that frog so much. You're working so hard for a blow up that when you get one and he misses it, you're able to recognize and see it and keep it on the spot and hopefully they come back and bite again. So that's kind of a, a little tip I can give you. I hope this tip helps you guys. If you haven't already, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. Leave a comment below. Ask some questions. I'm here to help uh, anything and everything. And where am I going with this? Oh, yeah ideas for videos go ahead and drop them below we'll try and get some more videos out here that um that you guys think you want to see if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon so you get an email and notification that i've uploaded a video i'm going to be better about uploading more videos for you guys and let me know what let me know what you think also the rod line reel all the casking gear is going to be in the description below if you are interested in checking out the casking stuff hit those Amazon links there it's not going to take you to some random page can take you straight to Amazon straight to the uh, products and search there also if you purchase something um, you can go ahead and use my links I get a little it's an Amazon affiliate link I get a little bit percentage off of what you guys buy um, it allows me to be able to uh, come out here do these videos for you take time off of work and uh, produce some stuff for you so I want to thank you guys for watching stay tuned for next time and thanks for watching Preston Outdoors.